Welcome to the Double E Show. Bad strategy, horribly simulated. What's going on, everybody? Jebba73 back with the Double E Show. It's Burnished Wednesday. Colonial Charter 1.76. All right. Welcome back, everybody. So, uh, offline, I went around and I plopped a few things in to be built, uh, like storage. So we have a uh, fuel cellar, tool cellar, construction cellars, distribution barn, uh, small barn. Um, and then I also came over and um, to put, excuse me, uh, some storage here, uh, worker shack. Let's see, uh, that storage there. So it's, um, large jetty storage, tool storage, uh, fuel, 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 construction, uh, construction and distribution and a small barn. And then the worker shack. All right, we're going to come over here. The worker shack is part of the uh, discrepancy uh, mods, and it's part of the jetties and bridge. Now, they can be built on land or water, um, but they require fittings. Now, many of the DS mods uh, that have to do with the um, jetties and bridges and whatnots require Iron fittings, uh, those are made by a, uh, that's a distribution bar. Where is it? Those are made by the Jetty Construction Forge. Um, so here we have the, the lumber yard, which is discrepancies, right? And then we have the construction forge. Now the construction forge can make iron from coal or firewood and iron ore. They can make iron fittings from coal, iron, coal, or excuse me, iron and coal, iron and firewood, iron ore and three coal, iron ore and four firewood. So skipping the step of needing to make uh, iron out of iron ore. So I've got this guy slated to start making iron fittings. Uh, and then we are going to explore the... Uh, the jetties, the jetties and bridges. Um, I did add in a little bit of decoration over here just to kind of make these dock homes look like they belong to a dock area and this being an accessible docking uh, locale uh, with the trader and whatnot. And then we can have the docks run off this way. Um, I could not do much to dress up the side here, uh, so we are going to leave it. I tried putting in some random uh, decorations, and um, they, they they can't get to them to place the decoration down, even though it's just a decoration. I did move. Uh, now, somebody had suggested about the uh, the parsnip uh, field going up the side of the hill. It would look great for an orchard. And uh, I said, yes, it would. Um, but I don't believe I started with any orchard uh items so let's uh come in here to that's plantation small orchard we'll go like that right click i do i got plums but that orchard would look better for like say apples or or whatnot so i was mistaken i do have orchards uh, uh, uh an orchard item but uh not the one that i wanted but anywho so the parsnips weren't really growing over here uh so i moved them over i i, I moved it over from being directly behind the house and now that it's able to be accessed uh, more fully, um, we're, we're getting parsnips, and that's going to help a lot with the food. Uh, and then I dropped in a small barn over here uh, to help with a storage. So, we have the house. Cool. Close that out. And then I built in another uh, tunnel. So I got this tunnel going through here, and then I got this tunnel going through here. And I, I, I laid out some places for some homes uh, to work in the mine when we have the people for it. And then on this side, okay, coming through, I put in another forestry so we could uh, get the uh, the logging uh, up and running. 
uh, a little more uh, substantially. Now, granted, not the best location because it's losing some to the water and losing some to the mountain, but that's where I want this to be because I'm not really going to do anything with this with this giant lake uh, just yet. And if I do uh, do something with it, um, I can do something with it from this side of it where there's uh, a lot more uh, land to be used. Um, and again, coming down in here, uh, I added an herbalist into here uh, to start gathering the herbs uh, so that we can maintain our health. Right? And I added a couple of more homes um, to go with it. So these foresters overlap ever so slightly just a little bit right there not a big deal and then we've got the gather right nice big circle very good okay now in this episode i have to flip through a couple of pages here i would like to uh start looking at what we can do with the discrepancies ds jetties and bridges and we're going to do that coming off of this side so let us unpause there's something else i wanted to mention too we're going to go down to times uh five times speed so when it looks choppy to me in my game for whatever reason it's still very smooth in the recording so uh you may have heard me mention how choppy it looked at one point um in the last uh, episode, and you're probably looking at it as I did and went, huh, smooth as silk over here. Don't know what you're talking about, Jibba. You're losing your mind. But I'm not. I'm really not losing my mind. Okay, this tool cellar was built. Let's, uh, let's take a look at some of these things, right? So I put a tool cellar on the back of the blacksmith shop, right? And then I, built, I put a fuel cellar on the back of the lumber yard and a fuel cellar over here and a construction cellar because they make uh, lumber and they make uh, uh, firewood over here and uh, so those those things uh, should be stored here as well so that's the fuel cellar fuel cellar there we go they're putting lumber in okay speaking of which pause we look at the town arrival how much lumber do we have? We now have 133 lumber. Um, okay. I'm going to unpause that. Distribution barn is good to go. And I will put... I'm going to take a builder out. Click. I'm going to put... One person in there. And the distribution barn will, will house things and then bring it to the places it needs to go. That's the purpose of the distribution barn, to distribute the goods. And then industrial fuel cellar, I put out here on the outside. There we go. Put it on the outside of the fuel refinery. So there you go. Not far to go to store it. Now we got the small barn, large jetty storage, uh, which I will unpause as well. Right, because uh, those things needed lumber and fittings, and they needed six fittings, which we we have uh, we have fittings now. Uh, where 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 where? Unarrival fittings, iron fittings. Iron, iron ore, iron tools. Uh, do we not have iron fittings yet? Hello. Are you making iron fittings? You should be. Uh, okay. Anyways. Uh, back to being unpaused. No, back to being unpaused. There we go. Okay. There we go. Iron fittings just showed up there. So they might be getting taken right to where they need to go then. Um, but anywho, so that's that's the uh, that's the the thing there. We want to come over here and uh, and look at the 
the uh, jetties and bridges items. So we're going to go discrepancy. We're going to go jetties and bridges. Uh, this is the construction menu for it. So we'll move the worker shack thing so we can see what it says. Lumber yard, the forge, the sand mine. Uh, required uh, manufacturer because some of the things are going to require glass. And then the glass maker building. Let us uh, rotate it around here. Our I'm not sure I understand. I'm not sure I understand this. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at the worker shack. So the worker shack. They, they have different size buildings, but it's a nice little, uh, nice, nice tight little building uh, stuck in over here. All right, let's uh, pause for a second. So we've got the small barn, which is over here. All right, looks good. Yes, it does. Okay, worker shack right there. Kind of cute. I like it. Right there. Large jetty storage right there uh, blends nicely into the landscape. The landscape. Okay, so we want to come in here and we want to do some flattening. I want to flatten that. 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 Okay. Come over here. Okay. Right. Okay. Now we're going to get rid of all that. Okay. Now that should be good and flat. Now let's come back in here. Uh, we went back in here. Jetty some bridges. Construction. Glass maker. I don't understand. Ah, now I understand. Okay. So part of it needs to be in the water. At least two of it needs to be in the water. Okay, so if I do this, that needs 13 fittings and some iron. So he's making fittings. We know that because the other fittings were done. Very good. Okay, so I'm pausing. And we'll slow it down to, to one time speed because uh, I'm going to assume that I'll, I'll visually see less uh, drag. And that is the case. Okay. Now, coming back in here, it needs a sand mine. Make mine sand from the waterways. Sand is required for the manufacture of glass. So, R R. All right, so it needs to be something like this. Got it. Okay. So there's that there. I can either do it there, or I can come over this way, and I can do it here. I'm going to do it here. And the reason for that, even though it's pretty far away from the glass maker, is I want this shoreline over here. I want all this for uh, buildable uh, living and, and construction, uh, uh, not construction, uh, resource buildings and, 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 and all that kind of stuff. 
All right, so we're going to come in here to roads. We're going to go uh, dirt road. We're going to stick with this road here that we know. It's going to come up here. Actually, no. You know what we're using over here? We're using the mossy stone road. We're using mossy stone road. Over here. here and we're going to hold shift and go like that and it automatically makes as diagonal of a road as it can so if you drag out your straight line right so let's say you take the road i drag it out like so if i and then i, I go like that if i go shift see what it does it makes the road go diagonal as best as it can still not 100 percent but as best as it can yeah i like it okay that gives us an area back here too to do a little decoration all right so that's going to get us to that stuff so right on okay so now we got those things going Back to jetties and bridges. We're going to use light-colored stuff. What do we have? Jetty number one. These are protrusions that come off of... All right. So, and then this is jetty three by one. And there's F variants to all of these. All right? So... Jetty stairs down is the same as jetty stairs up. So if I go boom. There we go. So that's jetty stairs up. And I come over here. That's going to be there. I'm going to go F. Hmm. Actually, wait a minute. Let's do this. I have a better idea. Okay. I'm going to do it with the darker stuff. Because I think it's going to match better. Yeah. I think that's going to match better. To what I want to build, uh, which is using the colonial charter. Uh, the colonial charter docks uh, with these uh, jetties and bridges. Okay. So then this is a low jetty piece. Very nice. So. Hmm. It's a. Uh, yeah, getting a little choppy there for me. Not for you, but for me. Okay. So I could... I could... Bring this in here like that. Hmm. Interesting. What is this? Low jetty corner. sure it would look if I had a high jetty corner that's a high jetty corner there right yeah high jetty corner there oh that's really high okay so then low jetty corner is there High jetty corner is up way up there. 
Yeah. Okay, so unnecessary at this time. Let's go low jetty corner, right? We'll go with that. I'm gonna come over here, and right next to where we're putting the stairs. I'm gonna put that low jetty corner in there. And, okay, I think I can get it in there as well. All right, so F. Rotate it around. No. 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 Okay. Never mind. Very good. Okay. So, Jetty Resource Production. Got Driftwood Collector, Driftwood Searcher, Firewood Splitter, Jetty Tailor, Jetty Workshop. Interesting. Ah, yeah, I remember the Jetty Workshop from the Red Ketchup uh, Editor's Choice playthrough. Very nice. Okay, so... Didn't get a lot done, but we did cover a lot of what I, I had done offline. Um, in the interim, we're going to get these, uh, these buildings built. I'm going to go up to uh, 10 times speed. Let them crack on. And uh, that'll do it for this week's episode. Right? Listen, when we come back next week, I'm going to see if I can figure out the, uh, the issue with it. Looking real choppy on my end, but looking real smooth on your end. And we'll go from there. So, if you like what you're watching, hit that like and subscribe button down below. Tell your family, tell your friends if you have any suggestions. Put them in the comments below. Because I will read them. And with that, I will catch you next Wednesday for another episode of Burnished Colonial Charter 1.76. Peace. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more, check out the playlist above. Or watch what YouTube tells you to on the right. Oh yeah, and subscribe.